that's for the editing the YouTube video because the YouTube video uh, will end right there. However, to our live video, since this is feeding, let me encourage you uh, the importance of voting. Yeah. Uh, companies are doing everything they can to shut up and censor people who are, are voting for a specific candidate. You need to research what the Bible says concerning holiness policies, yeah. and policies. Do their policies line up with Scripture? Yeah. We're Christians. Um, there are things that are important to me, and what is important to me is my religious freedom. Amen. I want to be able to worship God the way that, that I feel the Bible says. I want to be able to share Bible verses the way I feel that Bible verses should be shared. I would like to be able to have the same right to proclaim God's word wherever anybody else has a right to proclaim any other message. Mm -hmm. I would like that without discrimination against us. I would like the freedom to support and endorse what I feel that the Bible says I should support and endorse. I do not want to be forced to celebrate or endorse or use any of my speaking, artistic, or any other skills to support something that I do not agree with. Mm -hmm. There are those in the government that want to shut down the churches. They do not want the churches to meet. They're fine with other organizations meeting. They're fine with bars being open. They're fine with things happening out in the streets and protesting. They're fine with gatherings of that sort, but they want to limit church. Look at what your politicians stand for on our website we have links so that you can do your own research do your own research intercession city church of God dot com there's a big banner there underneath that that banner is three tabs you can click on them and see where your candidate stands on things that are important to you as a Christian please take the time don't think that you can just let it go and God will take care of it. Yes, one vote matters. Yes, there does. was a vote that was done and it was an absolute tie for the politicians. And how did they decide? They drew names from a hat. Total chance. One vote could have made a winner in that circumstance. And if all the one voters got together and voted, it would be a whole lot more than one vote. Yeah. So please research. Me, personally, I'm going to go down and I'm going to vote in person mm -hmm. because that's how I feel that I need to do. Vote how you feel. Vote for the politician that you feel represents your beliefs. And if you're listening yeah. to us and you're a Christian, it should be a pretty clear choice. Yeah. Remember, it's not about personality. I'm not voting for a person's personality. I'm voting for their policies. Yeah. And how... They have helped me as a pastor at Intercession City Church of God. Yep. That's what's important to me. Yeah, because we're not talking about who's going to be ruling for the next four years. We're talking about decisions that are going to affect our children generations down. This is not about just the next four years. Decisions that are going to be made in the Supreme Court and stuff are going to affect our children, our children's children, their children. So... Stay strong in the Lord. Yeah, because a voter guy. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining so, us. We'll see you later. Yes, God bless.